Hi, this is Tom Gehring. I keep getting requests on my YouTube channel that I've developed about my model crane here on how someone could obtain information on how to build it. So I've basically taken all of the various 2600 construction photos, 177 engineer drawings, and various other information regarding the build, including an owner's manual that's 66 pages long, and put them all into PDF files that I put on this uh, flash drive, which contains in all seven gigabytes of information on how to build this model crane. So I thought I'd take this time to give you a little brief video tour of what all is on this uh, flash drive that I'm offering for sale. And um, if you're so inclined to want to build this model and have access to a benchtop metal lathe and milling machine, then um, I'll, I'll show you how and where to go to purchase this flash drive. Here is a brief video tour of sketch number one, which is an E-size assembly drawing of the cab at full scale. On the right side, you see an elevation view of the cab Notice the component part numbers and the corresponding sketch numbers are ballooned out as they are on all assembly drawings showing the various components and the sketch numbers that define those components. Also note the location of the primary, secondary, and boom hoist drive motors as well as the swing drive motor which is mounted directly to the quarter inch aluminum base. In the center of the drawing, we have a two view drawing of the gantry assembly, which also calls out the various components of that assembly. On the left side, we show a, a plan view of the cab. Uh, showing the location again of the primary, secondary, and boom hoist drive motors as well as the uh, swing drive motor as mounted to the uh, cab base. Also note that the 3 8 inch thick uh, left and right side plates are also shown in this view as well as in the other views. Note also that here is the center of rotation of the cab assembly. Followingly, a brief video tour of sketch number two reveals another E-size drawing that locates the perimeter, drilled, and or tapped hole locations in the 3 8 inch thick aluminum right side plate. The one quarter inch thick aluminum cab base plate and the three eighths inch thick aluminum left side plate. In addition to the two larger size drawings I just reviewed with you, we have D&E drawings that show, for example, here's the lower crawler assembly. This drawing, sketch number 101, is details the components of the lower crawler assembly. Here, this sketch number 157 details the various panels involved with the cab uh, assembly. And then we get into the boom sections. Here we have the lower uh, lattice boom section, followed by the drawing of the center lattice boom section, and then a drawing of the boom tips lattice boom section. And then lastly, there's a large drawing showing the full-size drawing showing the 
cart that I designed and built to move the model about. In addition with those D and E size drawings, I have 13 PDF copies of B size drawings. For example, here is a B size drawing showing the assembly and detailed dimensions on fabrication of the four part block. Here's a B size drawing showing the uh, components and critical dimensions on the um, drag line bucket. And then we also have other various components of the model that are detailed on these 13 various uh, component drawings that are in the B size. Lastly, I have over 155 A-size sketches that are in PDF form on the flash drive that cover all the various little minute detailed drawings of the componentry of the model. Here you see I have, starting out, I've arranged a sketch index by folders. I put these in groups of folders, so I kind of called them out for easy uh, location. Um, I've also created a Excel bill of materials that's about 22 pages long that has all of the various components listed, the sketch numbers, the part numbers, the quantity of the parts, so that you can reference the sketches back to the bill of materials easily. I left it in in Excel form so that as an end user you could take it and um, sort it how you'd like to maybe take a look at what what volume of different components are required to to make the model. Next I have uh, various traditional drawings of components that are just I call them sketches but they're uh, detailed drawings of all of the various components uh, of the crane. I've augmented this traditional sketches with write-ups. This is an 11 page write-up of how to how I fabricated the, the counterweight for the model and the various dimensions that I used to fabricate the model counterweight uh, as you see here. And then uh, you know, this shows the counterweight when I had it all completed. So all of these drawings are included in PDF form in on the flash drive. And I go into pretty extensive detail on how I fabricated it. You certainly can choose whatever methodology you feel more comfortable with, but this is how I accomplished building of the various components of the model are all included on the flash drive. 177 PDF copies of all the drawings. Also included on the flash drive is a PDF copy of this 66 page owner's manual that has a table of contents that basically outlines all of the various aspects of the crane, including its onboard controls and key components, operating the model crane, moving and transporting the model crane, maintaining the crane, battery charging fuses, all the various aspects of the crane you need to know of. Uh, at the back of the 27 page owner's manual are various reference documents that get into the details of the crane's operation, its electrical wiring diagram, and the various aspects of how to program the radio. Uh, all of the aspects of the model are included in this owner's manual. I've decided to offer my digital crane model build plans for sale as a cataloged item on the Little Machine Shop website that you can access either by scanning this QR code or by clicking on the URL code that is included in this video's description. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.